everyone this is professor rakot from the scholar academy so friends in today's lecture we will discuss about very important topic from the organic chemistry that is halogen derivative of alkane and arenes so before that first of all we see what is meant by alkanes okay so alkanes are the aliphatic saturated hydrocarbons containing carbon carbon single bond okay you know the alkanes alkanes are the aliphatic saturated hydrocarbons containing carbon carbon single bond is called alkanes okay so for example methane ethane propane butane these are the some alkanes so what are the halogen derivatives if from any alkane hydrogen atom is replaced by the halogen group okay you know the some halogens chlorine bromine iodine and fluorine these are the some halogens okay so now we see how halogen derivative will be formed just see one example here you know the one uh, alkanes that is ch4 okay ch4 this is the methane methane okay this is the methane if this methane reacts with cl2 that is the chlorine in presence of sunlight in presence of sunlight okay so methane having four hydrogen atom so from this methane one hydrogen atom is replaced by the chlorine okay so here we get cs3cl okay so from this cl2 one cl going to attach to CH4 on a hydrogen atom is removed and there will be the formation of HCl, hydrochloric acid, and the product is methyl chloride. Methyl chloride. This is the halogen derivative of alkane. So, all of you clear? Halogen derivative of alkane is nothing but the from any alkane, one and more hydrogen atom is replaced by the one halogen group. and the corresponding product will be halogen derivative of alkanes okay here we get methyl chloride that is the halogen derivative of alkane so again this methyl chloride that means cs3cl reacts with another molecule of cl2 in presence of sunlight okay in presence of sunlight this reaction will be going on again in cs3cl how many hydrogen atom is there in cs3 three hydrogen atom again one hydrogen atom is replaced by this cl2 But from this cl2 one cl is going to attach here and here we get ch2 cl2 because one hydrogen atom is removed and one chlorine is substituted and here hcl is formed so ch2 cl2 is nothing but the di chloro dichloromethane this is also halogen derivative of alkanes again this dichloromethane reacts with another molecule of cl2 so this reaction we can carry out up to presence of hydrogen atoms okay again see in presence of cl2 in presence of sunlight we can carry this reaction again how many hydrogen atom is here two hydrogen atoms okay two hydrogen atom is there again one hydrogen atom is replaced by the chlorine then we get ch cl3 and here cl is removed as the by product okay this trichloromethane is nothing but the chloroform trichloromethane why it is called as a tri because three c chlorine is there tri means three and chloro means chlorine three chlorine is there trichloromethane and common name is chloroform so chloroform is used as an anesthetic okay so again one hydrogen atom is here then this chcl3 again reacts with cl2 in presence of sense and light here we get ccl4 plus hcl and this is the carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride okay carbon here and cl is four times that's why tetra and chloride 
that is the cl molecules all of you clear how halogen derivative will be formed so in first example methane reacts with cl2 so from this methane four hydrogen atom is there so from that four hydrogen one hydrogen atom is replaced by the cl cl2 is nothing but the cl single bond cl okay one cl is attached here and one hydrogen is replaced here and there will be the formation of methyl chloride and hydrochloric acid is removed again this methyl chloride reacts with cl2 again three hydrogen is there then from this three hydrogen one hydrogen atom is substituted by another cl then here we will get ch2 cl2 that is the dichloromethane again dichloromethane reacts with cl2 and we get trichloromethane that trichloromethane is nothing but the chloroform and again chloroform reacts with cl2 in presence of sunlight here we get carbon tetra chlorides okay whatever halogen derivative we get all contain the some halogens it may be chlorine bromine iodine okay and these are used in your day to day lives it is used as an antiseptic also in pharmaceutical as well as chemical industry we can use some halogen derivative as the raw material to synthesis different kind of the organic materials okay so here chloroform this also we can use as an anesthetic okay so now we see the classification of halogen derivative of alkenes so that is very important classification so now we see the classification of halogen derivative of alkenes classification classification of halogen derivative of alkenes okay so halogen derivative of alkenes are mainly classified into two types one is the mono halogen derivative one is the mono halogen halogen derivative okay one is the mono halogen derivatives and second one is the poly halogen derivatives poly halogen derivatives okay mono halogen derivatives and poly halogen derivatives okay so first of all we see what is mean by mono halogen derivatives you know the mono mono means single okay halogens that means there will be the single halogen atom is there for example cs3 cl methyl chloride or cs3 ch2br okay ethyl bromide here also contain single halogen group that's why it is called as a mono halogen derivative the mono halogen derivative in which one hydrogen atom is substituted by one halogen group so that halogen may be chlorine bromine or iodine here contain only one halogen atoms that is the mono halogen derivative and here poly halogen derivative means poly means many okay more than two hydrogen atom means poly is many halogen atom going to be attached to the aliphatic or uh, aliphatic alkenes or arenes okay so polyhalogen derivatives are classified on the basis of number of halogen groups okay so now we will see how polyhalogen derivative will be classified polyhalogen derivatives are classified on the basis of number of halogen group number of halogen atom going to attach to the alkenes that is dihalogen derivative di halogen derivatives here we can write dihalogen derivative okay di means two example ch2 cl2 these are the example or we can write ch2 i2 ch2 i2 ch2 cl2 means dichloromethane okay here dihalogen derivative means the dihalogen derivative in which two hydrogen atoms are substituted by 
two halogen groups. Here, CH2, CH2, two halogen is there. Okay, so that's why it is a dihalogen derivative. Next one is a trihalogen derivative. Tri means three. Trihalogen derivatives. Okay, so here we see CH. Cl3. This is the best example, or we can write CH I3, or you can write CH Br3. Okay. Trichloromethane, triiodomethane, tribromomethane. These are the trihalogen derivatives. Tri means three halogen is there. That means trihalogen derivative. How can we define trihalogen derivatives? Are can be defined as the Halogen derivative in which three hydrogen atoms are substituted by three halogen groups. Three hydrogen is substituted by three halogen groups here. Cl, Cl3. Three halogen is there. Cl3 here. I3 here. Br3. That means trihalogen derivative. And last one is the tetrahalogen derivative. Tetrahalogen. Derivative. You know the tetra. Tetra means four. That means four hydrogen atom is substituted by the four halogen groups. Here, CCl4. That is the best example. Carbon tetrachloride. That is a tetrahalogen derivatives. Okay, I hope you clear classification of halogen derivatives. So, halogen derivatives can be classified into two groups. Monohalogen derivatives and polyhalogen derivatives. Okay, monohalogen derivative means the halogen derivative in which one hydrogen atom is substituted by one halogen groups. That is the monohalogen derivative. For example, CH3Cl methyl chloride, CH3CH2Br methyl bromide, which contain only one halogen groups. That's why it is a monohalogen derivative. And this is the polyhalogen. Poly means many. Okay, there are many halogen groups are there. So that polyhalogen derivatives are classified on the basis of number of halogen group. Okay, if two halogen are there, then that is the dihalogen derivative. If three halogen is there, trihalogen derivative. If four halogen is there, that is the tetrahalogen derivative. These are the some classification of halogen derivative of alkanes so in next lecture we will see the classification of alkyl halides